this is going to show you a little journey that 110 stories took from Kickstarter project to to a business and here's here's what the app did essentially you let you pointed your phone anywhere at the skyline where you could see the buildings and it had a digital model of the towers inside of it and it rendered those accurately into the skyline just as a silhouette this was done as an art project so i had no issue with the buildings looking as some, as a matter of fact i wanted them to look like god drew them in the sky and not look totally accurate as buildings would have so that's what it would have looked like from uh, williamsburg or greenpoint where i lived and so Here's what the app really did. It created a little piece of media, and you can see the buildings here was a picture from Dumbo taken on 9-11, so you can see the Towers of Light through the buildings, and then it put up a map that showed where you were, and it showed how far away from the buildings you were, 1.32 miles, and then, very significantly, it compelled the user to write a little short blurb about why they took that picture. What about their life and their connection with the towers during the time that they were there for 30 years, what compelled them to want to say something about a particular view that maybe had something to do with their life and then was lost? And so this was done as a Kickstarter project, and it, it, uh, it was very successful. And one of the things that the AR did was it looked backwards in time. The buildings were unique in the sense that they are no longer there, and after the project was over, I kind of went back to my boring, regular life. But trying to figure out what about this was unique, and eventually I figured out that it was looking backward in time that made this project a beautiful art project, but looking forward in time could make it a business. Instead of seeing something that is no longer there, you want to see something that isn't there yet. And that is something that's valuable to architects, and real estate developers who are building buildings that are going to be there have all the digital assets that I created like 3D models, renderings, drawings, and now can tell the story of a building that's going to be built in the future. So from this I learned the little triumvirate of things I do is I connect iconic real estate, immersive mobile media, which I'll show you in a second, and storytelling. And so here's the first app that was developed using those three things together. This is a building that at the time the app was built did not exist. It's in Seattle. It was a hole in the ground. But we knew it was going to take five to seven years for the building to be built. So the first thing we did was we went to the developer and the architect and got all the digital assets and took the three-dimensional model of the building and we mobilized it. So now we have something that has a 3D model, but because it's on an iPad or an Android or an iPhone, it's now easily consumable by 100% of the population. So also because it's a mobile product, it's super easy to share by sending somebody a link. And because it's a mobile device, uh, it's a mobile product, it can be interacted with the way that we all know we interact with, say, photographs, which is with touch. So I can now, with my fingers, rotate the model. I can zoom in. I can get pretty detailed because the model has a lot of detail in it. And I'm starting to understand this building and take assets like floor plans and connect them with it and show you what this building might look like in this sense. Another way to look at this would be, what does it look like to look out from the building? And this uses drone photography. So take a drone and fly a drone up to 400 feet and now with the iPad, it's kind of compelling when you do it yourself because you're literally moving around the skyline and you can zoom in and zoom out the same way or I can go to a different height and look down at the hole in the ground where the building was built. That's where it will be. And then another, another thing was simply saying to the developer, what assets do you already have? And one of them was a video. And so why not make good use of that and take that video and mobilize it, which I did. And then another one would be to look out from street level as if you're looking up at the building. And this, again, is 360-degree photography, which is all real. And this is a photographic overlay blended into the image so that you start to get the feeling of what it looked like if you were looking up at the building. And the last one, which is kind of the sexiest AR, is what would it look like if the building was sitting right here 
on this tabletop. And that simply, this is an AR trigger that when I point the app at the building, there it is. So it's now a 360 degree model and you can see I can turn the model. And uh, that's what this app did. And what I'm doing now that will be the follow up is in the coming year, working with the American Institute of Architects, I'm gonna be building experiences like this for 100 buildings in and around New York City in time for the AIA's national conference, which about is about a year from now. So hopefully you'll be seeing some of that stuff in the next year. Thank you. Cool. Thank you.